My name is Kim Rausch. My degrees are a master's degree in school psychology and a doctorate in counseling psychology with an emphasis in pediatric psychology. The more people there are that witness the situation, the greater the sense that there is diffuse responsibility and that no one person is responsible for intervening. You are really playing against conformity if you intervene in the situation. If you make a commitment, and particularly if you make it out loud or make a pledge to it, you are much less likely to fall victim to being, a, you know, having that diffuse responsibility. The rising problem in society today is the harms of bystanders. You see kids watching bullying scenes not doing anything. People watching children being kidnapped. The overall problem is the lack of action or otherwise known as the bystander effect. If the bystander effect is known about, we could see less people doing nothing. I knew about the bystander effect, but only in minor detail, and that it as a problem certainly persisted, but I didn't understand the sheer magnitude in which it existed. As I continued to research this topic, I saw the severity of the dilemma and that it was a dire problem in need of a dire solution. I didn't realize how psychologic it was until I learned that the fear associated with it could escalate to the point where it can take control of one's actions, no matter how focused or prepared they were. Before this project, I believed that individuals would fail to help others in need. My claim is proved true in that the victims of the bystander effect preferred not to get involved. It was a stressful process, but I felt that teaching people about the bystander effect was the most effective way to get people to stop being bystanders. So for our project, the three of us agreed to try and lower the bystander effect through education because that was the most research-supported effective solution. We went to a middle school to give a short presentation on the bad effects of bystanders, why they're bad, and how we stop it. And then we talked about heroes and some examples of hero from real life and methodologically. During our presentation, we did an experiment on the students with the teacher. Their teacher dropped some papers, and other students helped. By showing the kids a first-hand example of the bystanders, they were better educated on the matter and realized that it does apply to them. After the presentation, we did a question and answer session with the kids. We encouraged them to, to participate by giving them candy for good questions and being involved. 